Hello everyone, welcome back to South Ball 210 Outdoors. We're here at the hunting camp, it's turkey season. Got uh, Ralph with me from 304 Adventures. Hi, we're, everybody. we're gonna go out in the morning, call some turkeys. Tonight we're just enjoying camp, eating a little pizza, having a few beers, and just relaxing, enjoying the scenery. Don't have to hear nothing, just enjoying being out in nature so uh, plan is to get up uh, for daylight we're gonna go up to the top of the uh, ridge up here start our calling got some uh, decoys got everything getting ready um, do a little running and gunning tomorrow be a little bit different than hunting at the house like we did last year so uh, stick with us and uh, we'll see how it goes now you guys remember last year I called Ralph's turkey and this year if I see one I'm going to shoot it so I'm not going to tell him but I think I'm going to shoot first if I see one. I told you I figured out where it was. <laughs> Ralph found his camera. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm too excited. I'm, I'm excited. I'm kind of. He's excited. We're like we're like two kids at Christmas. We don't have to think about work for. You yeah, know, a few days uh, out it's here at great. camp, just you know, it's it great. Time is so, so great, you guys. Remember, Ralph's channel's 304 Adventures. Stop over and check him out. He's got everything from axe making <laughs> to shooting deer with pistols. And, um, and you guys want to, you guys really need to take a look at that because I was impressed at Ralph shot. I, I was that's something I've never done, and Ralph killed a deer. With a pistol, go over to his channel, catch it, you know, take a look at it. It's, it's, it's a real good hunt, and you'll never see anybody more excited than Ralph was. <laughs> You're when probably he shot that right. <laughs> I was, I was, I was overwhelmed. <laughs> yeah, so, so, seriously overwhelmed. Check it out, and uh, we're going to get some stuff together. So, um, go out here and see where I think Ralph's getting in some fishing out here. Check out, see what he's doing, and uh, just uh, tidying up camp a little bit, getting things. Uh, squared away and uh, make things a little easier uh, in the morning. So, I'm going to run out here and we'll see what we're out. three or four cobblers they come off the roost and they went over the next ridge but I'm gonna give this 
this spot another hour because sometimes they work their way back into this area. Okay, so what we're doing is we moved, we moved over around the hill where the birds were at this morning. We're going to hunker down. We're going to be quiet for a little bit and then start thundering away here in about an hour and 45 minutes. Give everything some time to calm down and uh, hopefully get get back on some birds. But they've they've kind of they've kind of shut up right now. So. Take a look and see. Alright guys, we're set up. Ralph's behind me. He's going to shoot everything to the left. I'm going to shoot everything to the right. If everything works good. So, you can see. Get one. Get him, get him. Okay, so what we, we worked some birds in. Everything worked according to plan. Um, I'm sure you saw Ralph took a shot, and uh, I don't think we we didn't do any good there. Missed it. Uh, it was a long shot. It was in a bad some bad brush there. So we're going to regroup and uh, head on over to the other side. Uh, maybe maybe try to get on another. One. <sighs> All right, Ralph, give me the play-by-play, -play. what happened? Well, had three birds come in. One good one, two jakes. I had to, I had to dot on the first two's heads. I mean, I was, I was steady. The bigger one was in the backside, so I waited for the two jakes to get on up out of the way a little bit. And that better, that Tom come up. I put the bead on his head. And I don't know what happened from there. I missed him. I clean missed him. I didn't even take a feather off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Got excited. I don't know if I yanked the trigger, pulled what I did, but I missed him. Either way, it's pretty fun, though. Yeah, it was a blast. <laughs>
then I thought about shooting at one of them going up over the hill, but I couldn't tell which one was the big one, which yeah. one I saw that, which one I didn't. It looked like them two that went up, they were pretty, they looked like Jake's. They um, were? Yeah. So, I think we did right. Because I looked at them, I mean, I was looking at them hard. Yeah. But uh, I th I'd say maybe we regroup. And what time is it? It is 9 10. Got plenty of time to hunt. Maybe just run on the other side. Yeah. Hunt till about 11. Come yeah. out. So, Sounds good. All right. So we're uh, um, getting ready to head out. We uh, decided against going out anymore. We figured we educated enough birds today. So uh, it's cleaned up and I'm going to head back. Uh, we're out three or four adventures. What do you, what do you think? The, I can see why you love this place so much. It's, yeah. a, it's a great, great place. A, pro, a piece of property. It's a great place. Um, but uh, just just for the record, uh, South Paul 210 Guide Service did provide the uh, uh, the the lodging, the uh, the uh, the transportation. <laughs> the um, we we got you set up and. Uh, they have three birds in front of me, yeah. so. But uh, please leave uh, five stars on. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, definitely going to uh, get a still, five still star leave review. a good rating. Uh, yeah, you know, and all that. But uh, definitely going to get a five star review. Yeah, uh, just kidding. Everything was I don't, excellent. I don't have a guide service. No, <laughs> just just playing. But um, <coughs> yeah, so uh, we'll we'll try it again. Yeah. Some other time. And yeah. Go so uh, probably tomorrow. I'll probably get up try at the homestead and. Uh, just go from there. So, till next time, guys, stay safe. I'll see you in the next video.